Discretion is advised. What is going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new episode of American Truck Simulator. And today we are going to be in the Kenworth C610 made by GTM. I do gotta say though, I believe this truck is an Australian truck because I don't believe I've ever seen it. And it just kind of has the vibe and look of an uh, Australian truck. But nonetheless, it looks really cool in game. So we are going to go ahead and show it off today. I believe it's our first time using it. Um, there are a couple uh, bugs in this truck and trailer. And I will go over those here in a second. But let's go ahead and start the truck up here real quick. Well, actually, no, we got to load our cargo. So let's go ahead and do that first real quick. All right, so it's about 445. Let's go ahead and start up our truck here. We got some default SES sounds, but I do have a Cummins X15, 600 horsepower with Adept, and an 18 speed with a Retarder in this truck today. The trailer we're going to be pulling, as you guys can kind of see back there, and we'll pull out of this spot, you guys can take a better look at it. Um, it is the Cornhusker Ultralight Hopper, made by Keith D. It is available on the Facebook group I'm in, but I will have a link to the Mediafire um, I believe it's Mediafire. It's one of those download site links in the description as well as a link to the Kenworth in the description as well. Here is the interior we got today. Kind of basically like a standard Kenworth uh, T680 interior. But it also looks a little bit different than that. Um, got like some bags here. Got some snacks back there. So pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, got that same issue in the mirror. So I'm assuming that's just part of 1.4 with modded trucks right now um, just with the glare and everything but one thing you will notice off the bat the screens do not work so we just have that tiny little GPS up there in the um, uh, whatchamacallit that dash cam up there so we don't actually have the screens working today um, another issue that you will see with the trailer or the truck in the trailer is that as you see we have our flashers on once we get back here the flashers do not work on the trailer Trailer doesn't have any brake lights either, so I'm not quite sure what the deal is with that. And then the truck doesn't have it either, although the lights do turn on. There's just no flashers, no turn signals, nothing. So it's kind of a little weird, but since we're playing from the inside, I don't think it's really going to matter. But let's go ahead and uh, check out the trailer here. I'm going to start pulling forward a little bit so you guys can see what it looks like. It's a pretty neat looking trailer. I've never seen a grain trailer like this one before. We got reflections and stuff, which is pretty cool. Alright, I think we got enough view over here. But yeah, checking it out. You guys can see there, Corn Husker Ultra Light. Very odd looking trailer indeed. And we are carrying some corn um corn kernels going to the dales in to the sunshine crops in the dales and we are currently in spokane washington but yeah guys looking pretty neat um digging the trailer for sure man very trailer and we got a tarp up there that we can kind of close but i don't think we can do that since it's part of the mod that you can have it closed or open but let's go ahead and get on out on the open road this is going to be a fun one for sure since I really can't see that GPS. Um, I may stop or something at a repair shop and try to put in an extra GPS if I can. Um, I just didn't realize that that screen wasn't going to work at all. So, um, so yeah, that is, uh, that is fun. That is definitely fun. We're going to turn our flashers off and we're getting ready to turn left. Luckily, we have our GPS to let us kind of know where we're going. That voice act or that voice command stuff, so that's really good. Oh, look, there's old Jordan and a Peterbilt. Last time I knew, they all only ran Volvos. Clear from that side, and after this Mustang, we'll be clear, I believe. Yep, we are good. All right. Getting ready to turn left. All right, all right, all right. 
Why are we stopping? Oh, you guys. Mm. I really hate people. I really do. Alright, got a green light. Here we go. Hopefully you guys are having a great day today so far. Uh, it's back to work for me today, actually. I thought it was Monday that my uh, quarantine ended, but I guess I miscounted my day, so it's Sunday. Would have been 10 days from last Thursday, which, you know, it is what it is. Um, quarantine has been pretty freaking boring, though, I will say that. And we'll kind of go over that here later on in the video, but it has been super freaking boring. I think the speed limit's 30? Five, I don't know. Doesn't give me a speed limit. I don't know what the speed limit is, so uh, definitely not fun at all. Those Walmart trailers just randomly turn into Walmart. I kind of like those Walmart trailers. They're different. They're blue, and I've never actually seen a full blue Walmart trailer before. So it looks like we're going straight. Go straight on. Yep, we are going straight, and looks like we are going to be turning right. Yep, we just passed that yellow light right there. Here's a driver, or a driving. Not sure what it's supposed to be, but I thought all these gas stations were, uh, real life. I guess I have to put in that mod again. I'm not sure, though. There's 90 West towards Spokane. There we go. Alright, so we're on the interstate now, heading down 90 West. Kind of brushing that guardrail there a little bit. We don't want to be doing that. But yeah, quarantine has been super freaking boring. I will say that. It's just been, you know, a week and, you know, there's not much you can do. You're just kind of cooped up in your house. And, uh, we got a car coming, so I can't... Oh, no, I'm not going to change lanes yet. I will have to soon, because I'm not exiting here. Come on, Dick. You going to let me over? Oh my god. I'm just gonna go. Screw it. Oh, he had to try to go in behind me. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, it's been super boring. Like, you're just stuck at home for a week and... You know, I'm still feeling a little bit contagious. Not contagious, but I'm still feeling a little congested and stuff. Um, the congestion hasn't gone away no matter what I do, but they said that I'm cleared to run since I don't have a fever. And it's like, okay, well when is this congestion supposed to go away because I've pretty much had it since we got tested positive and I still have it like I'm still I've been congested this entire week and I still am and I don't know how to get rid of it and there's no nobody's giving me a straight answer I've tried mucinex I've tried everything nothing and it's like is it ever gonna go away or is it something that I'm gonna just you know keep for the rest of my life, because I, I hope not, because that, that would suck if I did. Um, I believe this is a good speed, so we're at 60, so I'm just going to go 65 and set the cruise. Go up a little bit. There we go, we'll set the cruise right there, boys. But yeah, it's just been, it's been crazy. Although I did um, end up watching a lot of YouTube while in quarantine, while my videos were like rendering and stuff, I'd pull up my phone and um, pull up some YouTube, and I did not honestly realize that, if you guys know in YouTube you have a watch later folder, and I honestly been throwing a lot of videos into that folder as of recently, um, like tech videos or like, you know, Crown Victoria vids or just random vids. And I've honestly been watching a lot of different stuff, like drain survivals, van survivals, um, like people riding, like, not hobos, but like people riding on trains and filming them, like, illegally, but it's actually been pretty freaking cool to see. And supposedly I had, like, 700 videos in my Watch Later folder that I honestly had no idea about. So I've kind of been trying to, you know get on there and kind of shorten that a little bit because that that honestly that is a lot <laughs> that is definitely a lot of videos um 
So I've been trying to kind of watching that, and then we've kind of also just watched. Kayla and I have watched a little bit Netflix and stuff like that. So, but Kayla's not doing well either. A few days ago, she ended up having another fever. She, even though she got rid of one, she still had another one. And she just hasn't been feeling the greatest either, but she don't go back to work till the 4th. So I guess that's when her um, little daycare preschool thing that she works at um, opens back opens back up. So, um, But yeah, man, look at the moving trailers, though. I know there's a mod for those, but I didn't realize we'd see those as AI. Man, I need to take a look at those because I want to pull one of those. Those are pretty cool. Oh, we're exiting here? Shit, 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 shit. Are we going towards Kennewick, or... I don't think so. No. Cool. Man, they really need to give you a little bit more warning on that, because I almost missed my exit. Luckily, it was a twofer, but I almost missed my exit on that one, man. I'm going to pull in front of this trucker here. One that would be super cool, though, to see in this game is if, like, you're trying to change lanes in front of a semi... And I know they do this in real life, but um, if they would, uh, whatchamacallit, um, like flash their high beams at you to let you know that you're clear. Because I know they do that in real life a lot, and it'd be kind of cool to see in game, you know, like there's a trigger. Kind of like they do with the high beams, if your high beams are on. But um, if you decide to turn your blinker on, what the hell's going on over here? Oh, cop blocked someone. Oh, car fire. Why are you slowing down completely, dude? What the hell? God, y'all see that screen flickering for the GPS? That's really weird. I've never seen that before. It's like flashing yellow to red. It's weird. But yeah, guys, going back to what I was talking about. Um, we just kind of been watching Netflix and stuff and Hulu and, you know, it's catching up on shows and whatnot. And I've just been watching a lot of YouTube, doing a lot of YouTube and all that fun stuff. So, uh, so yeah, it's honestly just been a pretty boring quarantine. It honestly has. <laughs> um, but I'm glad it's over, though. Back to making money and all that. But it looks like it's a 70 through here. And, man, we are struggling to keep this thing in between the lines. But that's always for us. So there we go. We got the crew set at 70-something. 70 72. And there's a way station. Are you kidding me? Please let us bypass. We're just a grain trailer. God. God bless, man. This is... Mm. I remember I had to pull into the way station in Cordialine after leaving my, um... What's it called? Truck... Or that truck's... The garage... And I had to pull into a way station with this trailer while I was empty. So I went, you know, like empties here, loaded here. I went to the empties and they got me for $800 for miss for not stopping at the toll. Or the scale. And I'm like, I'm empty. And I've got, you know, like a thing over there. And I think our truck is damaged a little bit too. Oh, 83487 I guess the truck isn't damaged, so that's good. There's some YRC freight right there, boys. Man, man, now the... Oh, there's PAM transport. Now the best thing is going to be getting on the highway, because, you know, this truck right here is stopped. I'm hoping he can go after this guy. I honked at him because it didn't look like he was going to go. He looked like he was just going to stay there. It is 60 through here, so that's um, something we're going to be weary about. But yeah, man, we got a bunch of corn kernels today. Not, I think I said we're going to like Simple Foods or something like that, so I'm not quite sure. I think they just got it off the train and put it on our truck or something like that. So uh, I'm not quite sure where we're actually going, but I don't know if we're getting off on this interstate. Don't look like it, so... Looks like we're staying on this one. 
Yep. Nope, we are exiting here, man. Exit right. I do gotta say that without a GPS it is hard, but I mean that's how it was back in the olden days. No GPS, you had to take an atlas, a map, or whatever, and just figure your figure it out yourself for the most part. But uh, yeah, that GPS is super tiny, <laughs> super super tiny. It's hard to see it at times too. I guarantee you, once it gets nighttime, we're not going to be able to. It does. Yep, that's what I figured. I don't think we're going to be getting off here. Um, but I did have a couple different questions in the comment section about figuring out how to download like different mods from the mod sites and um, I'm going to be straight up 100% honest with you I am oh which one are we going to because they're both exit there's right away which one are we going to I'm pretty sure west. Oh. Keep left. Okay, that's an interesting one. Thank you for telling me a little bit, you know, farther away so I didn't have to, you know, skedaddle through the exit here. Oh, there's a roundabout. There is a roundabout, so we're going to try to slow down for this. It's 25. Yeah, man, I hate these in real life. I really do. These suck. I just hate going through these. Like, I just hate the curve portion of it. Like, I'm fine with curves on, like, a two-lane back road. But just the curve like this to get onto an interstate, and then you got all these cars coming at you at, like, 70, and you're going, like, 30. It's a struggle. It is definitely a struggle. There we go. But, yeah, so, um, with the ATS mod sites, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I do not want to do a mod tutorial on those just only because of the fact that if you do f follow it and yours might be different than what mine shows it will 100% screw up your computer if you do not know what you're doing so you've got all these different free download buttons you gotta know which one you're supposed to be pressing you gotta know exactly like how you're doing things um, with it so um, but yeah it is um those sites are a pain in the butt to download if you don't know what you're doing i don't want to show you guys because i don't want to be the one responsible for you know if it doesn't work out you know your computer's busted or your computer's got full of malware viruses all that stuff and i'm not the one trying to be responsible for it so my thing is if you are going to download mods do the safe way and just do it off of the steam workshop that is my advice to you guys Steam Workshop pretty much has a majority of all the mods on there. Plus a lot of the mods that you get on those mod sites are stolen mods that are pretty much payware, but people just release them as freeware. Um, so that's why I really don't like looking at those mod sites. So now where are we going? The Dales, next right. So I think that's where we're going. Yep. Keep right, exit right. So we'll get there in a little bit. Um, I know they were saying between midnight and 1. Man, it's empty over here, guys. It is super empty over here. Shut off that annoying-ass blinker. But yeah, majority of the mods that I get for ATS are off of the workshop. But if I do end up getting a truck mod or something like that off of the mod sites, I do typically do not link them because of that reasoning. So I do apologize if you guys see a truck that you like that's not on the workshop. Um, I don't want you guys to try to, you know, download it yourself. If you do, do it at your own risk. But just to let you guys know, I'm not the one responsible if you do mess up your computer while doing it. So um, I'm just going to put that out there. I'm just going to put that out there. But typically, anytime I do have a mod, I'll always have it in the description down below. Um, for GTA, I'll only have the vehicle mods if I'm doing like LSPDFR or whatever. I'll only have vehicle mods and the other mods will be in a mod list that is on my Discord server. As well as make sure you guys join that Discord server. 
because I do post pretty much all of my updates in there and on Twitter. So make sure you guys are following me on Twitter as well. Everything you need to know is down in that description as well. So this Covenant transports. Oh, he's letting that guy in. That makes sense. I was like, he's going super slow on this interstate. But yeah, look in that. If you guys can see that GPS, you cannot see it whatsoever. So um, this is going to be a fun one to go into where we're going. I don't even know where we're going, honestly. I don't think I've been to this pickup location before. I may, I may have. I don't know. But yeah, guys, you cannot see that GPS to save your life, man. But yeah, guys, also, I've been getting some questions about PC specs. If you go onto my channel and go to my About Me section, all PC specs are listed in there. Um, so anything you guys need to know, peripherals, um, PC specs, what steering wheel I use, what microphone I use, what editing softwares, um, photo editing stuff I use, it's all listed in there. So I'm um, just letting you guys know instead of you know me typing it out in the comments 20 million times, it is all available for your guys' public view, public eye, in the about me section. We're gonna be stuck behind this bus, I already know it. I think the speed limit was like 60. There's that old old wooden car man with wooden panels. Nice looking car man. So we're coming up on Yakima and Bend. But yeah, man, doing a lot of these nighttime runs for sure. I'm trying to get back more into some daytime stuff, but I guess the nighttime keeps haunting me. Just because it looks so good in the beta. It really does. It just looks super freaking good. Ooh. There we go. Little glitch with the steering wheel there, man. I'm going to really have to, like, pay attention because I don't know what exit I'm getting off at. I'm assuming it's going to say, like, the Dales. Man, that's super dark, dude. There we go. It's, like, super dark out here, man. They really, you know, made this, made this very, you know, dark and stuff. So, like, luckily we had some, like, daylight, but it's really dark. And I don't know what's going on with my, like, uh, recording software. Because I use Streamlabs OBS. But for some reason, like, when I'm recording, it's showing that it's lagging in the recording. But when I go back and, like, play it back, it's not lagging as much. But it's still lagging a little bit. And I'm not sure what's going on with it. I've changed out the encoder. I've changed out the bitrate. Are you kidding me? I gotta exit right now. God, man, I cut along two lanes of traffic for that, man. I think we're turned left. All right. Ooh, we're gonna have some fun getting up this. There's old Primey, old Prime. Man, so many trucks getting off here at this late at night. There's old Ruan. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what's been going on with my uh, video editing software. And I'm hoping that it's not going to be a thing forever. Because I've it was perfectly fine up until I took that break in December. And then after that, it's just been giving me nonstop problems. Like, you guys don't know how long it's been taking to do videos now because I'm worried that the video is, um, going to be crappy with lagging and stuff, so. I don't know. I'm gonna have to try to see what's, what's going on with it. Kind of sad, though. There's no interior lights. You're ready to turn left. But there's, like, no interior lights in this truck or nothing, man. Can't barely see where your speedometer is. Oh, it's a stop sign. Yeah, dude, it's so super dark out here. You can't see nothing. I guess while we're here, let's take a look at this trailer at night with all the lights. So 
they got like different options. You can do all red or all orange. I decided to go with all red. But yeah. See, the brake lights work now, but they didn't work back then. It's weird. You have to have like your lights on at night for it to work. It's super weird. I don't know what the deal is with it, but that's what it is. Let's go ahead and turn off them flashers. I, like I said, I don't know where we're going. Going this way looks familiar. But it looks like the left lane ends, so we're in the perfect lane here. We're by a bunch of farmland, so I'm assuming this is going to be the area. We're kind of struggling getting up this hill here. We are definitely struggling. But uh, with me going back to work on Sunday, or today actually, um, let me know what you guys think of me vlogging my routes. It's been something that I've been wanting to do for a while. And I have seen a bunch of different, like, day in the life of an Amazon driver videos on YouTube. Keep left, turn left. Understood. But I have seen a bunch of those videos, and, um... They're all different. Like, a lot of Amazon drivers deal with different stuff than what we do um, at my terminal. So, uh, I feel like it'd be kind of cool to do a video. Let me know what you guys think of that. If you guys would be interested in it. Um... Or if you guys, like, say no, don't do that, stick with gaming, or, you know, whatever. Turn left. God, man. Right here? Right here where the mailbox is? Alright. Can't really see where that trailer's going, but it looks like we're doing some dirt road running. To get to this plant. Man, hopefully this is going to be, a, there's enough room to back or back up, but I don't want to do a blindside back. Man, we got a little dirt road to go on, heading on down here. That's pretty neat. Alright, where do you guys want her? Here we are, safe and sound. I feel like it's going to be over here because I do see trailers over here. Well, not over there. I need to put on my map so I see. I think those are the lines right here is where they want it. So right next to this trailer, and my map confirms that. So this is going to be a fun back because I can't see those lines in the in the dirt. This is going to be one of them fun backs, and it's going to have to be a blind side back. Then we didn't really set up perfectly fine for this one either, so this is not going to be good at all. Let me go ahead and see if the windows roll down. They do. Alright, let's try to get set up for this one. Not going to be the best setup for what we've got going on, but... It was hard to find this drop-off point. It really is. This I, I, don't, I like this icon mod. But it sometimes makes it hard to find like the where you get your jobs at and where you drop them off at. It makes it harder sometimes. Can't use the mirrors. I can't see Jack, Jack in these mirrors right now at night. Make sure we're not hitting that trailer. We were about to, so let's go ahead and pull forward. I understand the customer expects delivery. We're literally right here. 
We're backing it into his bait or his uh, lot right now. Cutting it close to that trailer, man. How far off are we? He's got to take it to the right a little bit. Okay. Yeah, man, I can't even see them lines. Are we good? Oh, yeah, we're good. If this is not the drop off, then I don't know what, where it is. I am so confused. Am I supposed to keep going a little bit more back? Alright, I think I have it set up in a much better spot now. We get it? Did we get it? Straighten out the cab a little bit, but it looks like we got it. Cool. Alright, stop the engine. Let's unload this puppy. So we went 306 miles for $49,113. Man, this load or this trailer actually gives you a lot of money. If you're just starting this game out, you just purchased your own truck and you're trying to make money without loans, This, or there's a lot of different trailer mods out there that are not dry van or you know insulated or reefer. That will give you a bunch of money just to do loads. So I recommend this trailer if you're just starting out. And you just bought your first truck for your company and you're wanting to make some money. Definitely I would recommend this one. I would recommend Mickey's Beverage Trailer because you will make a lot for that one as well. Because if I guarantee you if this was a dry van load we did. I'd probably make it only 20000 15 to 20000 on this load. Whereas this one, I'm just carrying corn kernels, and I made 49000 Almost $50,000 for a little bit over 300-mile load. So I do recommend it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you did. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.